Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, New Life Pentecostal Church, Albany, Georgia. I'm glad you're with us today. I'm just going to go through a stack of kind of what I call current event books that I'm studying. I may or may not read all these, but I get them for research. I like look at subjects. I look at chapters. Sometimes the Lord will just help me. I'll open up to the right spot. Good stuff. I'll look in the appendix in the back subjects. So this, those of you that are into conservative thought, a lot of you would know Roger Scruton, who died just a couple years ago. Absolutely amazing. I was looking through this. I mean, it's got Sartre and Foucault, and people make fun of me because I don't pronounce it right, as if that means anything at all in a certain sense. Uh, downhill to Habernus, Tedium in Germany, Cultural Worlds world right, Worldwide. And he even has one, weirdly enough, because this book, like he died sometime back, it's called The Crack and Await, Awakens. Yeah, this is written in 215 and he's talking about the Kraken. <laughs> so I thought it's fantastic. Author, philosopher, knighted in 2017, fellow of the Royal Society of Literature, fellow of the British Academy, oh no, no. Okay, this is something I've had somebody, and I can't even remember who read this, and they said you've got to read it. And so like, this came out before the election, and then after election you've got, and even before the election, you've got all kinds of mass deletions off of the internet. So I was very interested in looking at this. Ann Coulter, Michelle Malkin give little blurbs here. Uh, Dupes by Paul Kingore. Now he writes a lot of good books. Kingore is a college professor. I see World Net Daily, Fred Barnes, Pete Robinson, Town Hall, Burton Folsom. Uh, all give little blurbs. Pete Schweisser, who wrote. Uh, empires of corruption or something like that a detailed riveting history of those who secretly serve the enemy not to be missed dupes and so that's always fascinating i read a book on mal they said how he eventually lost is the two his two top generals were secret communists um then another one of my favorite authors is niall ferguson he's married to Hersey Ali, I can't remember the name, but uh, like a uh, uh, Muslim civil rights activist or something like that. Not sure I'd describe her. But this has got blurbs by The Economist, New York Times, Michael Beschloss, uh, Lords of Finance. Oh, this is not, this is Niall Ferguson, sorry. This I got just because it was recommended to me. Like what Ahmed, and I'm not sure uh, everything, but this is Financial Times, Goldman Sachs, Business Book of the Year, magisterial work as you learn how the world spiraled into depression. You can't help thinking about the economic crisis we're living through now. So to me, this is just looks fantastic. A vital and timely look at the late 1920s. Which who is it? Amity Schlaes writes good stuff on that. This Niall Ferguson. And this last book I put up, really interesting to me, you know, from Facebook to Masons. <laughs> but Niall Ferguson is just a really good uh, writer and just encyclopedic in knowledge. So like his books are getting done, popular history at its best, Washington Post, New York Times Book Review, LA Times, New York Times, The Economist, this one, The Post, The Wall Street Journal, New York Times Book Review. This one is New York Times, Eric Schmidt, former executive chairman of Alphabet. So this is all like current events kind of books. A brilliant recasting of the turning points in world history, including the one we're living through as a collision between old power hierarchies, new social networks. I mean, that just sounds fascinating. And then the Battle of Bretton Woods. This is put out, I think, by the Council on Foreign Relations. It says Princeton and uh, John Maynard Keynes, which I'm highly interested in studies of Keynesianism. Harry Dexter Wright as well. And the making of the New World Order. So that just looked fascinating to me. I followed the Council on Foreign Relations for years. And I've probably thrown away a lot of their books. I got a lot of their stuff from the 60s, Foreign Affairs at Goodwills. I'm talking about lots at Goodwills, like for a buck. 
or 50 cent or a quarter or a dime and all that. So this is just some of my current affairs stuff that I'm researching. I know a lot more and uh, I may do another video on that sometime. But uh, I don't want to, no man that goes to war entangles himself with the affairs of this life. I just, as a pastor, I like to be well informed. I'm trying to lead sheep and trying to win as many souls as possible and just share with people truth. And, you know, people talk about is all truth God's truth. Well, that is a totally different philosophical question because some very conservative people say yes, some very conservative people say no. End of the day, truth is truth. It's reality. And God is, uh, is truth. I mean, Jesus said he's the way, the truth, and the life. The spirit of truth. God is the spirit of truth. So I just, I, you can't, you know, if you're right doctrinally and wrong in other stuff, you need to be really careful because Satan is the father of how many, every lie. Whosoever loveth and maketh a lie, he'll get a stronghold in your life. So God bless. I'll talk with you later. In Jesus' name, amen.